Hello, today I'm going to show you two task modes which are available in Microsoft Project. Those are automatically, okay, here, and manually. So you can, for your project, you can change for new tasks how are they going to be, uh, in which mode new tasks are going to be uh, by clicking here on the lower left of the screen and you can choose between manually and auto, auto schedule. Also, you can choose for particular task which mode we will it have. For, so like for, for example, if I say here task A, okay, task A, you can see that it will inherit the uh, automatically uh, 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 scheduled mode because it is set up. But if I want, let's say, uh, uh, make task B as man in manual mode, then I can go here in task mode. I can choose manual schedule, and then you will see the difference between this pinpoint. This pinpoint means that you uh, your task is going to be in uh, manual schedule mode, and you can now continue with that. So where is the difference, and what are advantages of those task, uh, task modes. Let me show you two examples. When you have task in auto schedule mode, then everything is about Microsoft Project. Calculation is made by Microsoft Project Engine, let's call it. When you have, on the other hand, task which is in manual uh, schedule mode, Everything is up to you. So you can put here whatever you want. You can put here duration. I do not know. Start date. Ask Mary. Mary. Finish date. Ask John. So you can do whatever you want. Be aware that this is not a great advantage at the end of the story. You can, when you don't have information, it is advantage. But after all, at the end of the story, at the end of your planning, you will have to know exact duration or start to finish date. So you should, at the end of the planning, you should convert that task to, a out, to an auto-schedule mode. So let's say that I have task C. And I know it has two days duration. What if I say, that task B will be started after task A will be finished, and task C is going to be started after task B is finished. So I will say two here. So you can see that those dates are fulfilled, but I still don't know duration. And it doesn't make a lot of sense. So at the end of the story, when you are building your schedule, don't forget to convert this task B to an auto schedule mode. So let's say I know finally that task B is going to have four days duration. So if you do some changes after that and you left ta your task, even if you know the duration start and finish, the calculation is up to you. And if you to want to recalculate your schedule, your your start uh, project start date end date etc you should have all your tasks at the end of the day converted to automatically scheduled task how can i now i know for task b and that it will have four days duration i know the, the, the exact start date finish date because i know that task b has a predecessor which is task A, and the successor, which is task C. So now I'm ready to convert it, and I will go to convert manual schedule task here. I will go here, and I will say it is now automatically scheduled task. So basically, with that said, I say, I don't want to take care of this task B, B anymore. I want Microsoft Project to uh, take care about this task. So I'm going to change that from manual schedule to auto schedule task. And by the way, uh, uh, this uh, uh, manual schedule task is, uh, was introduced at Microsoft Project 2013 version. Uh, uh, before that, uh, you didn't have that, uh, that uh, 
uh, that possibility. So basically, you are going to use that kind of type, uh, task mode type, which is uh, manually scheduled, when you don't have enough information. But as, as soon as you collect those informations, then you will uh, have to change that task uh, type mode from uh, manual to auto schedule mode. And the, the, the time when you should that, should do that, is at the end of the planning phase. And basically, with that said, you are letting Microsoft Project to take care about your tasks. But at the very early planning phase, when you are not aware about some data, that th then the uh, manually schedule mode is great thing to to use. I hope this helped. Thank you.